the way you think, your mentality, your mind frame will determine your outcome in life. If you think success is outside of your reach, you can't achieve success, you will never be successful. Story time. So, what day is today? Sunday today. Uh, I was at work the whole week and they put me to work with some guy called Sean. Yeah. Now, Sean's an older guy, black guy. I think he's about 48, he said, or he must be like mid 40s, right? But he looks like he's about 30 years old. He is the flipping, no homo definition of black don't crack. To the point where I, someone said that he was bragging about sleeping with 25 year old girls. If you ever saw this guy, you can believe that this guy looks so young, yeah? but you know he's an older guy. So they put me to work with him now. So we're working together and we have an apprentice working with us. So two electrical testers and an apprentice because we had a difficult task to do. Now, during that task, I decided to go off and be Jay and do something that I wasn't supposed to. It wasn't nothing to do with electrical, um, you know, it was to do with the job, but I just decided to go off on my own and do what I want to do rather than working as a team. Now, he's called the supervisor and told him this. So the supervisor's called me and said, yo, Jay, why are you not working as a team kind of thing? So the way the supervisor put it to me, I said to him, why has Sean said it like this? Because, you know, it makes it seem as if like he's trying to like make me look bad or whatever, really. So anyway, now, when I heard this, I was angry now. I'm thinking, when I see Sean, I'm going to stick it on him, yeah? Because it's almost like he's gone out of his way to try and like grasp me up because directly after he made that phone call, I saw him, yeah? But he didn't say anything to me. It's only when I disappeared again, I got a phone call from the supervisor. I think to myself, hold on a minute. So you've gone off, made that phone call. You've seen me after you've made that phone call and you haven't told me that you told the supervisor that you kind of, not grasped me up, but you, you know, made me look bad or whatever. Really. So I was pissed off. I've gone to the office now and I had kind of like a, a heated discussion with the supervisor. And I'm like, yeah, when I see this guy. So the next day I saw him and I pulled him up and I said to him, why are you telling the supervisor such and such and such? And he was like, listen, yeah, I've been on jobs before and I've been working with people who haven't pulled their weight and, you know, I've been, you know, fired for it, yeah. So I was like, all right, cool, fair enough. Yeah, I can see your point, yeah, you know, you need to cover your own back. You know, at work, especially as an agency worker, it's like um, every man for himself. I know we all like to think that everyone's our friend, but in reality, it's not, it doesn't go that way, you know. If you get fired tomorrow, I will still be at work the next day. So, you know, every man for himself kind of thing. So when I had that discussion with him in the office, uh, we were kind of interrupted by the supervisor. And the supervisor said to me, I'm glad, Jay, you've gone to Sean and had this conversation with him because obviously he overheard what we was talking about. So Sean said to me, I need to speak to you. So he, um, we were just sorting out something. So afterwards, like, I think he kind of forgot. So I said, yeah, Sean, do you want to talk in the office? And he said, yeah. So we've gone in the office now. Now he's talking to me as an older black man to a younger black man, yeah? Not talking down to me, not even in, in any way, but he just wanted to pull me aside because obviously there's a lot of white people in the office, yeah? And he said to me, listen, yeah? We're in a white man's world, yeah? Our face doesn't fit, yeah? He said to me, when he walks into a place, he knows his face doesn't fit. That's the first out of two times he said that to me, yeah? So anyway, we worked together that day and, you know, things went all right. And then I thought, OK, cool, they're going to move us around because some of the tasks that we do, we always need to be paired up. Right. Anyway, I came into work the following day in the morning and my supervisor said, OK, Jay, I'm going to pay you up with Sean. I said to him, like, it was quite awkward as well, because not awkward for me, but it sounded like an awkward situation. I said in front of everyone. I don't want to work with Sean, yeah? It's got nothing to do with, like, you know, his testing ability or how he is, you know. It's just, Sean likes to kind of do what he wants to do. You know, if you give him an, an, uh, an instruction, he doesn't want to follow it to the T, yeah? And him and I are just, we two, we're too different in terms of, you know, how we want to work. You know, I want to go right and he wants to go left, yeah? So anyway, Sean's come in the office now. 
Now, I don't talk behind no one's back. Yeah, if I say something, especially if I'm making a public announcement like that, because when I said that, one of the other supervisors said, well, if you can't work with no one, call it a day. I just looked at him for a split second longer than I needed to. And that said it all. I think to myself, who the fuck are you talking to about call it a day? But yeah, do you know, it is what it is, isn't it? If someone's refusing to work with someone, then they're basically refusing to do the job. So he was in his rights to say, you know, if you don't want to work with such and such, then call it a day. So Sean's come in the office now. Now, this is about two minutes after I said that. Now, as I said, I, you know, I'm up front. Yeah, if I got something to say, if I say anything behind someone's back, you can be damn well sure I've got the balls to say it to that person's face or I won't say nothing at all. As soon as Sean came in, I said to Sean, Sean, they have put me with you. Yeah, so us two need to work together. But I don't want to work with you, you know. I'm like, got nothing to do with you or anything like that, you know, how you work as a tester or, or like, you know, your testing capabilities. But it's like, you know, you want to go right and I want to go left. Yeah. And then afterwards, he made a rod for his back because... Our supervisor gave him an instruction, yeah? And then he said, oh, but why don't we do it this way? And I was just like, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? And the supervisor was like, oh my God, come on, Sean, yeah? So anyway, we worked together now. And actually that day we did work together. It was really productive, yeah? So the day I'm talking about now is Friday, yeah? So that was Friday, right? And we worked really well together. And, you know, we kind of pretty much got the job done. Um, you know, we didn't do as much work as we possibly could have, but we was messed around. We had to go here and there and waste a bit of time. So at the end of the day, right, we've gone back to the office. Yeah. And, you know, it's Friday. I know I'm going in the next day, which is Saturday. And, you know, I was just thinking, yeah, cool. I'll see you on Monday, innit? Yeah. Said bye to everyone. See you guys on Monday, whatever, innit? Yeah. About 15 minutes later, I receive a phone call from Sean. You know, I've just been laid off, you know. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, they fired me. In, in, in the construction um, industry, we call it being pumped because I think the reason why they come up with this word is because to get fired from work means to be laid off, right? And I don't know, they came up with the word pumped because I think firemen use a fire hydrant, like a fire pump. I don't know, but in the construction industry, we, we call getting fired getting pumped, yeah? So he's like, you know, I got pumped, you know? And I was like, why? And he said, one of the supervisors pulled him to the side and said, Listen, I'm going to have to lay you off, sorry, yeah? Um, this is, today's your last day. Friday is your last day, kind of thing. So anyway, so he's called me up and he's told me this, right? Now, just before the end of the conversation, he said, you know, see what I mean? Your face don't fit. If your face don't fit, they'll get rid of you, yeah? Do you know that wasn't the first time he had been fired from that job, Yeah? In this agency, construction world is flipping weird, right? I don't understand how someone can work at a construction site, be fired from there, and then rehired again, right? Even if it's through a different agency, it shouldn't really matter. You know, if you've been fired from, you know, a construction site, you should not return there again, well, at least for a few years or whatever. He got fired about four months ago and he returned, yeah? So... Can you see what I mean? There's no smoke without fire. He's He's gone in there with the mind frame thinking, yeah, you know, my face don't fit, so I stand no chance, yeah? And that's why he gets fired, right? Um, it's obviously to do with the way he is, the way he works as well, you know? You tell him go left, he wants to go right. But he has that negative mind frame thinking, oh, I'm in a white man's world, my face don't fit, so I stand no chance. Is it that negative mindset needs to stop? You see me? I'm a young black man. Yeah, I got I've got a big mouth. Yeah, I go in workplace and shout the other stuff. Yeah, I get fired from places as well and stuff. But I don't business. I don't go in there and and, and want to tiptoe around people because I'm black. No, I'm Jay. I do what I want. Yeah, I'm confident. I don't know, man. People just need to stop this negative mind frame. That's why so much. That's why so many, so many of you people are not gonna get nowhere in life, irrespective of your color, black, white, green, yellow, purple, Chinese. It don't matter, right? Because you go into life, you go into things thinking, "I'm gonna fail." You might not think that word "fail," but you think, "What's the chances of me achieving this?" That's basically thinking you're gonna fail. So stop the negative mindset. Stop thinking negative. Stay wise.